Hi, it's uh, Peter Buswell for DrVOIP.com with another tech tip. Today we're going to talk about um, automated attendance and building an automated attendant within the contact center itself. And the reason you might want to do this is several fold. Uh, primary reason is management information. Often in an automated attendant, uh, we have a script that's played to the caller and we offer them the opportunity to select digits, single digit access to transfer functions. So here we have a simple uh, automated attendant. Uh, if I highlight the icon, which is the Give Menu icon within the graphical scripting tool of the Enterprise Contact Center, you'll notice that I have the opportunity to go down here and select a particular WAV file which is typically stored down in the IVR directory um, in, within the uh, Shortel contact center. Subdirectory, uh, I often create my own custom prompt folder so that I can uh, easily navigate to my prompts. I'll select that prompt and there we've got a menu now that's going to play that WAV file to the caller it's going to retry it two times. It's going to time out after two. We're going to uh, clear the uh, DTMF on start and stop the prompt as soon as they uh, hit a digit. So this is very straightforward, uh, easy to do. One of the ways that we might want to dress this up to provide additional insight to management is to enable each of these digits to be captured in an IVR report. So uh, previously, uh, within the contact center director, I have set up some applications. So under entities, uh, we go to IVR applications. And I've created, you know, I've hit new, and I've typed in a name. And basically, I've created an IVR um, application for each of my digits here. And I've created one for the main greeting. And the reason you, you're probably going to want to take a look at that is that if you're interested in finding out how many phone calls uh, selected one for tech support, uh, you're not going to be able to do that easily within the Shortel PBX, but you can do it easily within the Shortel Contact Center. And the way we would do this is typically to create that IVR application, uh, look through our icons here and drag over something called start IVR application and then there's typically an end IVR application and what uh, what we want to happen here is that if I want to find out how many people did in fact reach the automated attendant or the main greeting I now have a, a mechanism for uh, capturing that call count and I do it here so later on when I run my reports I'm going to say I'm going to select a report uh, that that says show me how many people hit this IVR application entitled main greeting so it's a very simple strategy for uh, recording the number of calls that hit an automated attendant and one of the reasons that you might put the automated attendant in the contact center rather than the PBX and in PBX it's certainly a lot easier to do uh, the automated scheduling of your on hours and off hours is very easy to do within the short tell PBX but I have no way of determining how many people hit the uh, call center phone number if it's done in the PBX and the reason for this is, is that call count never hits the automated attendant and contact center. So typically we like to bring these and uh, drag them uh, into the contact center, offer up uh, an on hours, off hours greeting uh, that's played on a scheduled basis. See the uh, previous uh, blog on setting up scheduling in the contact center. But this is uh, um, a way that we can capture that information. What I'd like to show you at this point is how to set up multi-digit dialing. As you can see here, we've got single-digit dialing, dial one for this and six for this and, and so on. Uh, typically, you're, you're, you're going to either use the change call profile icon or you're going to use the uh, transfer icon 
to shuttle the digit off to another predetermined destination, which is typically going to be a um, internal routing number, an IRN within the contact center. So what I'd like to show you now is how to deal with the fact that you need to allow multiple digits. If we want to give somebody the ability to, if you know your party's extension, dial it now, well, we've got to have a facility for doing that. How do we tell the transfer function to transfer multiple digits? So that's what I'd like to show you now. To accomplish that, the first thing you're going to have to do is go into the contact center director once again. And this time, you're going to um, go to the system prompt. And in the system prompt, you'll find a tab called call profiles. Call profiles exist in the contact center to enable a variety of parameters to be saved in software buckets that you can access during your application. So you might have an application, for example, in which the caller is prompted to enter their uh, group medical number. And they go ahead and type in their digits. And this is going to be saved in something called a call profile called group medical. Now, in the application for the automated attendant, what we're going to want to do is prompt the caller to enter the four-digit extension number uh, of the party they wish to speak with. So this is how we go ahead and create buckets. So we capture those DTMF digits, we save them in this bucket. So I've gone ahead and previously created one called extension number. So let's apply that to our scripting tool. So if I go back to the graphical scripting tool, I'm going to um, create one called, um, and let's just call this uh, transfer to extension. And at this point, what I need to accomplish that is the collect digits icon. So I'm going to go get digits. And I'm going to connect that to my incoming call route. So I'll just click here. I'll highlight get digits. And once again, you'll see that I have the opportunity to attach a WAV file. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have your WAV files previously recorded. Go ahead and select the, um, the message prompt that you want to prompt the caller with. Thank you for calling. If you know your party's extension, dial at any time. You're going to put that here. And you're going to say insert the results of that into the call profile called extension number. Give the caller two times to do that. Time it out after 10 seconds. Uh, we don't want to say it's a variable number of digits. The PBX extensions are going to be four, so we'll go ahead and tell the system we want to prompt and expect four digits. If we selected the variable number of digits, they'd have to terminate with a pound key. We don't want to do that, just enter the digits. And uh, clear on DTM F and stop the prompt as soon as they enter digits. So once we have that, it's very simple now to drag the transfer icon out here, connect the get digits icon to the transfer icon. And this time, when we select transfer, instead of saying predetermined extension like route number 750, we're going to say transfer the call to the extension that I collected in the field called extension number, previously defined in the call profiles. And so using this strategy, we now have the ability to bring the call into the contact center and prompt the caller to enter the extension number of the party they want to dial, and then go ahead and transfer it there. So that's how we um, create a multi-digit uh, transfer within the contact center. I hope you have found this informative, and I thank you for being